and welcome, or welcome back. This is Lori with Giggle Girl Art. So, I have some hauls to share. But first, I want to say some greetings and giggles to friends who left comments. Bonnie Lipke, Erlene Amaro, Sandra Schenko, Dorothy Kilty, Ephemera Files by Tommy, and Creative Nana, a.k.a. Sheila. Thank you so much for leaving comments. I really appreciate it. This first one is a little bit late because uh, apparently I went and got stuff before Valentine's Day. And I kind of forgot about them. So... There are these really cute heart doilies. This is from Dollar Tree, if I didn't say that. I got more of the awesome lace. I'm planning on hopefully doing a unicorn journal soon. I got a few items for the bird journal that I was working on. Um, but didn't get a chance to use them because I already had so much stuff. But here is one of the cute things. Spray bottles. Because you can never have enough of those. Then there's these laser cut veneer, I think. More fun stuff for unicorn bird things. Chalkboard stickers. So that is what I got that time. Then I think it was last week I went to Joanne's and I was just going to get some fabric which I did. I got this little pack. I think it was $10.99. And then all their paper crafting stuff was like 50% off. So I know I needed more of these Tim Holt corners. And I actually couldn't remember if I had these before. But I went ahead and got them. I got some more archival ink. And it's Tim Holtz Distress. And then I got another Distress Oxide in brushed corduroy. I have one that I got a while ago. Uh, it was free with a order from scrapbook.com. And I the first time I actually used this was for the Easter, five days Easter 2022 journal that I just finished. And the cool thing about the Distress Oxide is it has both pigment and dye ink in it. So I'm looking forward to that. And then of course the archival ink is just dye And then, um, I believe most of the distress inks that are not archival are pigment based. I always, I think that's the one that's water soluble. So I wanted to see what this cute fun fabric bundle looks like. Mm. Look, a tag for a junk girl and ribbon. All 
right, so it says it has five pieces that are 18 by 21 inches. And I thought these were some really fun spring colors. So there's this one. And this one. Oh, this is really bright. This might work with the journal I'm working on right now. I know one of these will. And there's this one. And this one with the butterflies, which was the whole reason that I went with this pack. So it's got all these lovely ladybugs and some florals and various butterflies. So let me know down in the comments which one of these are your favorite. Then I went to see my mom today at the rehab facility. Today was Tuesday and she was still wearing the same clothes that she was wearing last Thursday. She has cellulitis in her legs and feet, lower legs and feet, and her wrappings are supposed to be changed, as far as I know, every day, and today's then was the 19th, and the picture said that they were last changed on the 17th. I'm still trying to get her out of there, <sighs> having trouble, like, actually talking to a person without playing phone tag there, so keep me in your thoughts. Today, I went back to Dollar Tree after I went to visit my mom and I had some retail therapy. So I have a cutting mat, a self-healing cutting mat that's pretty old and it's too a lot of things so some of the grooves in my cutting mat are just unhealable <laughs> I don't know if you can see but yeah they're pretty deep it's even like knock the um, lines out of place if you have any ideas of what I could use this for, other than, you can tell I've had it for a while and I've used it a lot. But I've noticed when I cut on it, it the, the cuts into the self-healing gets me off of a straight line. So I got this one from Dollar Tree. Hopefully that'll work good. I found they had some fabric. So I got two of this one, which is 18 by 21, which I think that makes it the same size as the one from Joann's. And it has some sunflowers and I know I have a fall journal that I hope to be finishing up this month possibly well it's got bicycles and some flowers so that's pretty got two of those and then I know I have some I still have a s ton of stuff from the dog encyclopedia and I'm still waiting on dear Julie Julie to do a dog journal oh shoot I just cut them fabric 
I'm trying to cut this label off. Well, that just sucks. But this has some cute little dogs on it. I suppose I can fix that somehow. And then there was another... This one kind of reminded me of the ones that I got from Joann's. So, oh, and you know, Dollar Tree is now a dollar twenty-five tree. <laughs> yeah, here they are. Yeah, this kind of reminded me of that one. So I think that'll be fun. All right, then then I found lots of fun stickers. These are three-dimensional. But I'm hoping, like, I can take them apart and double my fun. A note, a magnetic list pad, some stickers in the shape of feathers. I still have lots of bird stuff. And I'm going to be working on that fall journal. I got those owl napkins last time. And these are dimensional stickers. More magic and unicorn. This came out of the stationery. Here's some, I mean, can you ever have too much, you know, sewing machines, cameras, light bulbs, and phones? I needed some more colored, covered paper clips. They had twine and a bunch of different colors, so I got those. And then I'd never seen these before in the floral department. They were out of the lace spools, but for lap prim, I thought those were pretty. And there is 0.4 inches by one yard on each one, so I went ahead and got two. All right, so I will be using all this fun stuff hopefully this month at least some of it with a lot of with a lot of my um things that i received in swaps and happy mail so make sure you stay tuned to see what i do with it and while you're here Make sure to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the bell. That way I will know, that way you will know when I am putting up videos. I have a lot going on with the stuff with my mom, so I'm sorry to say I'm not on a regular schedule. And don't forget to leave a comment. And I will see you next time. Oh, and watch one of these other videos. It really helps my YouTube channel. And I love it when you leave me comments. I'll leave you a greetings and giggles at the beginning of the next video I record. Thanks again. Bye.